Hey, what's up everybody? It's Randy. Thanks for joining me today on the channel. So today I come to you with a um, kind of a unique situation for, well, I'm going to make it a unique situation in the sense that I get a lot of people that will see that they need to repot. They'll come in, watch one of the repotting videos. And so if you do need a regular situation, I have a couple of repotting videos. Just take a look around the channel. But in this situation, I am going to show you what to do if you need to repot your plant, but you don't have access to bark and or a pot or things like that. So um, let's get started. All right, guys, you know the drill. If you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button. And if you just, anything else, just hit the like button if you get something out of this video. So let's get right into it. So I had a neighbor that had this plant and they contacted me and said, hey, this plant's not doing well. Um, would you like it? And I said, you know what? I actually don't have a lot of room for it right now, considering especially it's a bigger one. I like smaller plants. Considering it's a bigger one, I said, what I can do is take a look at it, and if it's savable, what I'm going to do, or not even just savable, I knew I could save it. She sent me pictures. I said, let me get it repotted for you, get it back um, healthy, and I will bring it back to you. So um, it's still technically going to be a rescue because she was pretty much done with this plant. So um, first thing I noticed is that it was just laying over. As you can see, it just kind of laying over in the pot. I'm not sure if it got knocked over or a lot of times when you have these plants, they'll be in their nice containers and there'll be, you know, there'll be a stake in here. And that's what's actually holding the plant. Once the blooms fall and you clip the spike, it just falls over. And so a lot of people don't know what to do with it at that point. So that's what we're going to touch on. Um, the medium is not the best medium, but it is still good medium and can be reused. Even, you know, like if you get a plant, mo most cases, the medium, even if it's sphagnum moss, it is in pretty good condition. It's just something, you know, like I said, a lot of times it's gotten waterlogged, things like that. So we're going to talk about what to do with that. So I'm um, trying not to be too long winded here, but I want to give you the information. So basically, the first thing I'm going to do, obviously, is take it out of this and I am going to dump it out into, the, into this particular container. We're gonna put this to the side and I am just going to kind of inspect the roots here. There we go. And I'm gonna look to see if there's anything I need to clip. Now I have some shears here with that's been sitting in alcohol so i'm just going to kind of shake those off and i am going to proceed to kind of clip anything that is kind of papery or you know soft or mushy or anything like that we're going to get anything that can technically be dead and or rotted so we're just going to kind of clip off a few things here just put those to the side So we got that pretty well clean. And so I am just going to take that and drop that in there, right there real quick. And I'm going to clean up my mess real fast. How about that? There you go. All right, so this is just some of that cheaper bark. Now, like I said, in most cases, I wouldn't repot into this if I had an option, but I'm going to pretend like I don't have an option. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to show you what to do, and then I am going to go on and repot it in some of my new potting mix um, that I have. And so I'll show you that kind of at the end. But as you can see, it has that little cork thing in here. So we definitely want to get rid of that. That's the, um, they'll put it in this as a seedling, and it's like this cork. And a lot of times that will cause a lot of rot around the roots. So we're going to get rid of that. Now, if this is your case, like I said, this is not bad medium. This medium grew that particular plant, so it's not too bad. What you're going to want to do, or what I would do, is take this particular medium, and I'm going to rinse it really good first. Just maybe put it in a strainer and rinse it really good, and then I am going to um, put it in a pot of boiling water. I'm going to boil some water, put this medium in here, even you can do this with sphagnum moss if you want, if it's just 100% sphagnum moss. Put it in there, I'm gonna boil it for like five minutes, put it back in the strainer, rinse it off, 
and then just let it dry out. Okay, so I, and for me, I feel like once you boil it, it's going to, the high heat and everything is going to boil off a lot of that particular, um, all the, like any parasites or anything that's bad in there is gonna probably be killed by the heat and then we're gonna take it and rinse it off and hopefully rinse all that bad stuff away. Let it dry out for a couple of days and then um, repot it back in this same medium. And so you say, well, with two, two days or a week or whatever, um, because you might get tied up, this plant will be perfectly fine in this for a little while. Matter of fact, I have plants that's been sitting in containers like this because I've been kind of too lazy to repot them. Been sitting in here for months. But what I do is I make sure that I put some water in it. So basically I'm just gonna take this and I am going to put some water in there. And that'll be fine in there. That will be fine in there. I know a lot of people say, well, aren't you over watering? Aren't you gonna drown it? If I put this in here and just let it sit for 30 days or so, yes, this water's gonna get stale and it is going to um, rot these roots. Now, we have what's called, um, what word am I trying to think of here? It'll come to me in a minute, second, I'm sorry. It's basically when you um, grow in just pure water. And so, for some reason, that is escaping me, and I do apologize. Now, one thing you want to do is, if it's going to stay in here, every couple of days, let's just say, if you can do it every day, great. If not, every couple of days, what I want you to do is put some water into a bottle, maybe up to about there, and just shake it really good, or just run it out of your fountain. What I want to do is get some oxygen in there, and then I'm just going to pour that old water off and put some new oxygenate, oxygenated water on this particular plant. And like I said, if let's just say something happens and you can't get back to it for a week. Let's just say you can't get back to it for two weeks, all right? Basically, what you can do is you can just keep doing that. Every couple of days, pour this water off, and put, put some, some new oxygenated water on there and your plant will be fine. So you, this is not something you have to get to um, right away. This will be safer and will grow better in that than it will in just like some thick, nasty, um, you know, uh, medium. So, you know, think about that. So, so here's what we're going to do here. Um, after we get that squared away, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a break. I'm going to clean this out real quick, and then I am just going to drill some holes inside this pot. We're going to put a good drainage layer with some of the styrofoam in there, and then we're going to repot this plant. So let's get this cleaned out. All right, so we got this all cleaned out. You can see it's still a little bit wet. And what I did was just grab my handy Dremel, and I am just going to drill a few holes in here. This might get loud, so I'm going to mute this. And I am just going to drill. All right, guys, so as you can see, I got quite a few ho two holes in here. I went about an inch apart, inch and a half apart, and just drilled two holes, and that's gonna be more than enough. What this is gonna do, it's gonna help out with the air, or, I'm sorry, the airflow. I was about to say aeration, that too, but the airflow inside the pot. So um, notice there, it's a little bit low, so air is just gonna kinda get in here, and it's gonna stop it from gunking up inside of the pot. So that's one thing you could do. Now, I know everybody don't have a Dremel on hand. You obviously can use a drill with a little bit of, with a drill bit, or if worse comes to worse, just take a screwdriver and just take a small screwdriver and just slowly turn it to just drill little holes in it, okay? So just what you wanna do is drill some holes inside your pot and that's gonna give you a lot more airflow and it's actually going to give you some really good drainage. So that's it on that. And now what we're going to do is just real quick, we are going to get this thing repotted real fast. Let's get this over here. I highly recommend you guys use some goggles when you, when you do that, if you're going to use a drill, Dremel, because it does throw a little bit of plastic at you. And I probably should have put mine on, and I didn't. So that was not the smartest thing. So I am just going to really quick drop some 
styrofoam in there. And yes, as I always like to say, this is recycled styrofoam. I don't buy styrofoam specifically for this. This is stuff I didn't want to put in the landfill. And no, it's not the biodegradable kind. That's why I don't want it to go in the landfill. I'd rather it go in my plants. And like I said, as you guys know, this stuff will not deteriorate. So there are times I will take it out of one plant and use it again or put it in another plant. So it's definitely keeping it out the landfills. And what it's going to do is create a really cool drainage layer. Now, this has been sitting for a couple of days. Not really, but let's just say it has. It's been sitting for a couple of days and um, it's been boiled it's been rinsed really good a couple times and it's been dried and now we're just going to put it back in so i'm just going to drop this in here like this real fast just give it kind of a good base layer there now i'm going to take my plant that's been sitting in my water for a couple of days and that actually rinsed that off really well. And I'm going to drop that in there. And my handy dandy chopstick, I am just going to kind of work that around. I'm going to get it centered. See? And so with this particular root ball, I didn't need a new pot, right? So this is still a perfect size pot for this particular plant. So the roots are a little long, but they're not going to be super crowded so let me get those kind of situated inside of the plant here i want to get them down and i want to get it centered and i want to get it stable and i'm going to use one hand to hold it as i start to feed my medium inside the plant so i'm just going to put that in there put some on one side put some on the other side and I am going to just work it down in between with my chopstick here. And like I said, since I do have bark, I am going to repot it one more time. It doesn't really mind all this handling, so I can do the video, show you what I'm doing here, and then just go on and repot it um, in some other mix because I'd rather her have that new mix. But like I said, uh oh. I did want to show you that you can repot in the same mix if you ha if you need to. Just gonna put that in. in get that nicely pressed in there I'm just going to work this in just a little bit more get it straightened up work it in a little bit more and then just kind of press on it to pack it down and that's going to keep it in place now I'm not pressing really hard so I'm not pressing pressing I just want to get it patted down and for time's sakes, I'm not going to clean it up. But as you can see, we got this cleaned up, repotted, and ready to go. Now it's very secure in its pot. These roots are going to grow down. A lot of people ask me about these roots. So let's just say this root is growing up. What you can do is just take that root and kind of push it into the side of the pot. And it's going to angle it down. And as it grows, it's going to grow down into the medium. So we're going to leave that there. And we're going to call that done for now. So, so there you have it. That is how you would repot back into the old medium. Like I said, I added some air holes here. So that's going to help. And I boil the medium. So it's better to get it. If you feel like it's going downhill or you can see that there's moldy roots, let's get it out of there. Get the mold off. Get the moldy, wet, soggy roots off. Clip those down. Let's get just pure good, nice, healthy roots on there. Like I said, boil the medium, let it dry, rinse it a couple, rinse it off really good. 
you know, let it dry out and then get it repotted. So, um, like I said, I'm going to repot this in some of my medium and stick around so you can see that at the end so you can see the finished product. And hopefully I can get some updates on this for you from the owner because I'm just going to get it right back to her. So that is going to do it for me today. If you got if you got something out of this video and if you enjoyed it, if nothing else, just hit the like button. That lets YouTube know that you're enjoying the content that I am bringing you. Um, of course, if you haven't subscribed, go on and subscribe. Now, I also have another channel called the Black Orchid Project channel. So check that out. There's a lot more um, information over there and that is kind of a community of orchid um, projects. I do updates on plants and things like that over on that particular channel. So check that out. Follow me on Instagram at the Black Orchid Project. And I have a Patreon if you want to become a monthly subscriber. But if you got something out of this and you just want to say, hey, thank you. I got something out of that. You helped me save my plant. I have something called Buy Me a Coffee. So that's buymeacoffee.com, um, T-O-B-P, the Black Orchid Project. And so um, that is just like a one-time kind of haze, like a tip, donation, things like that. Uh, any of those, all of that helps me support um, the videos and myself as I make these videos and bring you new content. So that is going to do it. As always, be safe. More importantly, be kind. Never give up on them. And until next time, peace.